Hey everybody, welcome to Washington DC. Might see the recognizable building here in the background. I'm here for the NASA social event going on on Monday and Tuesday, the 10th, 11th of July. It's gonna be covering 100 years of research history with Langley Research Center down in Hampton, Virginia. This is gonna be a great event. Gonna to get to see some interesting things, meet some interesting people. Let's, uh, let's go to the event. Just about ready to get started. As you can see, we're in the milestones of Flight Hall. A lot of history here in the Air and Space Museum. Right behind me here, the X-15. When I was a kid, I built a model of the X-15. I read about it. I was just completely fascinated by that aircraft. Right behind me is the lunar module. This one didn't actually end on the moon, but six just like it did. Six times we landed on the moon in my lifetime. I was alive. As a kid, I would listen to this record of the mission to the moon over and over again. The communication between the spacecraft and the astronauts and the mission control on Earth. One of my favorite tidbits from the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. right now is this little baby, 747, Northwest Airlines. I worked on this very aircraft. Same registration number, same airline, back in the 90s. Flew on this airplane, worked it. And now, this aircraft is in the Smithsonian Institution Air and Space Museum. In 1917, that actually became the design for the first wind tunnel at Langley as well. So Langley's roots are in that European tradition of flight research. So this is a hypersonic airplane. It is the first piloted hypersonic airplane to fly. And it remains the only piloted hypersonic airplane. Forget about this one. Early on, we're getting a tour through the museum and learning about some of the pieces of the museum, physical and intellectual, that are a piece of Langley history things that were developed at Langley and were hugely important in aeronautic and space research. Really fascinating so far to learn some of this. This is, this is truly an important artifact and it, it's not hanging on the wall. And the reason for it is that this thing weighs 7,000 pounds and the wall would not support a weight of, of 7,000 pounds. So it is literally hanging from the ceiling just like these airplanes are hanging from the ceiling but it's placed close to the wall and kind of has the appearance of hanging on the wall. It's really been amazing uh, to go through some of the museum and learn some things that uh, they've had to share from Langley history. So it's almost time to head over to NASA headquarters on day one of the 100 years of NASA Langley research. It's been great so far. And then tomorrow we're going to the NASA Langley Research Center and look at some of the wind tunnels, some of the facilities, and it's just really amazing. If you have seen hidden figures, Langley Research Center was participating in a lot of uh, the history that happened with that movie.
So now it's day two. We're gonna be going into the Langley Research Center and seeing some really cool stuff at the facilities. There's wind tunnels, hangars. Let's see what they got to show us today. Just a couple of years ago, they added a huge fan blade up on the wall. And that fan blade is one of the two fan blades from the old full-scale tunnel that used to be here and was demolished and taken down about six years ago. But what was really cool about it was the guy that was talking to us said, a lot of people come up to him and say, why is there a fan blade in the Milestones you know, gallery? And he basically said, none of what you see here would have happened if it wasn't for that family. And if it wasn't for the research that was done in Langley's full scale tunnel. Even the trays are pretty darn cool. Just ate lunch. We're going to be heading out on the buses soon to go tour around Langley. We got to see a preview of a video documentary that should be arriving any day now by the time this video posts. We'll put a link to it when it's available. Definitely gotta see this video on the history of Langley. Right now, they're taking us to the launch pad, and we're all going to be going to uh, the space station. And we're going to tour behind the scenes on the space station. Okay, I might have made that up. We're not really going to the space station. She is feedback. Except I don't even use it. Okay, so. to see some of the NASA research aircraft. Right behind us is the Air Force Base. to a flight regime or speed regime, how fast things fly. So you have subsonic, which is pretty slow. Supersonic is really fast. Transonic's right in the middle. So that covers what we call Mach numbers, about 0 0.8 to 1.2. And all that really means in miles per hour, it's about 600 to 900 miles per hour. So it's still pretty fast. the transonic tunnel now on to I think we've got one more stop to make before we conclude the tour on day two our last stop here is at the landing and impact research facility 22 Apollo astronauts trained here to practice landing on the moon and it's been used more recently for crash testing for aircraft and how aircraft can survive or how they are damaged in a crash. You can see it is a historic landmark here. The Lunar Landing Research Facility. This has been very cool here, the Impact Research Facility. Had a lot of cool people 
done a really cool tour of the facilities here at Langley as well as getting a tour at the NASA headquarters yesterday and also getting to tour and get some uh, personal curation from some of the aeronautics experts at the Air and Space Museum. There is a visitor center, so if you ever get down to the Virginia Beach area, come visit. So uh, remember, have a good time all the time.